Welcome to another PTZ Optics tutorial video. This video is a helpful addition to your PTZ Optics camera setup video for either SDI, USB, NDI, or your Zcam cameras. This video includes tips and tricks for staying organized as your IP video production grows, and it complements our recently published IP networking implementation video. Therefore, you may find it helpful to review your specific camera, producer kit, or networking setup video on our YouTube channel for more detailed information before you watch this video. If you are considering using multiple PTZ Optics cameras for your video production, live streaming, or communication system, it is important to understand the IP networking capabilities of your camera. In this video, we will review the details you should consider regarding the management of PTZ Optics IP addresses, multi cast addresses and friendly names on your local area network. As you may know, we always suggest setting a static IP address for your PTZ Optics camera. This can easily be done using our Mac or PC IP address settings tools available for download at ptzoptics.com slash downloads. By default, PTZ Optics cameras have a static IP address of 192.168 dot 100 dot 88 or dot 99 depending on your camera model this default ip address can be referenced on the bottom of your camera you can access and update this default ip address using your mac or pc ip address settings tool you can find a guide for this on our knowledge base at help.ptzoptics.com or detailed inside your specific camera setup video. You can also set up your PTZ Optics camera with a DHCP IP address. This will automatically assign an IP address to your camera that's in the range of your unique local area network, assuming your router is enabled with DHCP. You can quickly reveal your camera's IP address at any time using the IR remote control. Once you have set up an IP address for your camera, go ahead and log into the camera using any web browser. When prompted, enter the default login credentials, which are admin slash admin. You may want to consider updating these login credentials in the system tab of the IP interface. Recording your camera's IP address is important because you can also use this address to control the camera with third-party software solutions such as OBS, Wirecast, vMix, Livestream Studio, the new Tech TriCasters, and the new PTZ Optics Mac and PC control apps. You should try out the new camera preset map feature in the new PTZ Optics camera control apps with a panoramic image of your production space. Once we have set up your camera's IP address, you should consider setting up a multicast address for each camera as well. By default, PTZ Optics cameras have multicast disabled. This is done because not all networking hardware can support multicast video traffic. The multicast feature is essentially the ability to send a single stream of multimedia audio and video to multiple destinations on your network without clogging up the network. That means that a single stream of bandwidth, let's say 12 megabits per second, can be sent to a total of 100 devices or more using only 12 megabits of bandwidth per second on your switch. This is very different from unicast, which is how most networks are set up by default Unicast video traffic will stack up bandwidth on your network for each user accessing a unique video stream. PTZ Optics cameras are capable of delivering two unicast video streams over your network simultaneously. With multicast enabled, you can deliver more video to more users more efficiently. Note, make sure that your network is set up to handle multicast traffic before enabling this feature. To use multicast, each PTZ Optics camera should have a unique multicast address. You can assign a multicast address in the network area of your camera's IP interface. Once you've determined a unique multicast address for the camera, you can turn multicast on. You can turn multicast on by clicking the on radio button and clicking the apply button. Finally, you should reboot your camera. If you're organizing multiple cameras on your network, we highly suggest using an Excel or Google Sheet to keep track of all your camera's information. For example, in our studio, we have eight cameras. Our network reserves IP addresses above 100 for DHCP. 
so we have an IP range of .60 to .80 reserved for production equipment that is statically assigned. The first entry we have in our equipment table is the camera's IP address of 192.168.1.60. You can see that each subsequent camera has been organized with a sequential IP address such as .61, .62, and .63. You will notice that the next entry includes information about our camera's multicast address. We have noticed that the 234.1.2.xx, meaning whatever address you'd like to assign to the camera, that scheme works well for multicast video traffic on our network. So we have matched each camera's static IP address with the sequential ordering with multicast camera addresses starting with 234.1.2.60 and so forth. If you have any questions about IP and multicast networking, consider reading through our knowledge base articles or posting a question in our online forums at help.ptzoptics.com. As of February 2019, you can find multiple articles outlining setups for both Ubiquiti and TP-Link networking hardware configurations. Once we've organized our camera's IP addresses and multicast addresses, we will fill in some additional information about the camera model and the device ID. The device ID is also known as the friendly name. This friendly name is important for use with the new tech NDI. For example, the friendly name will pull through as the camera's source name in the new tech NDI studio monitor or your favorite video production software, such as vMix, Wirecast, Livestream Studio, or the new tech TriCaster. Now that our cameras are well organized, we we also suggest labeling each camera with a label maker. As you can see, we label each camera with their friendly name and the last portion of their static IP address. If you have an IP joystick, you can now organize your IP joystick with a label that features each camera input as well. As you can see, we have a label that features a quick reference for our camera operator to glance at in order to quickly switch between the six cameras. With each camera set up with sequential IP addresses, future camera software and hardware setup will be a breeze. You have now organized your PTZ Optics cameras on your network. We've set up unique multicast IP addresses, chosen friendly names for each camera, and optionally, you have updated your camera's login security credentials. And finally, you have physically labeled each device. As your video production grows, this type of organization will prove useful. Who knows, maybe you will add another set to your video production one day. Maybe an overhead camera or a wide angle behind the scenes shot. Staying organized is always a great practice. Enjoy!